Hi, Ken Rust here with Louisiana Pond Management, and uh, we're going to do a video here just to talk about fish habitat structures in your pond or lake and the different types, a few of the different types that you can use. Both bass and bluegill, as well as crappie, enjoy being around structures, whether that's stumps or docks or um, different trees that fall in the pond, that sort of thing. They really enjoy that structure, so it's nice to add that to the pond, specifically for bass and bluegill ponds. It uh, increases a really healthy interaction between the bass and bluegill and that predator-prey relationship. It also makes for your best fishing spots, which we're all interested in. Now, this is a st structure that I made for a, a client early on, and uh, I've got some cinder blocks. I put in some bamboo in there and then filled that with cement. They're heavy. They do last. Bamboo lasts a long time in the pond and uh, they, uh, they're very secure. So they provide a big complex uh, area of structure for fish to gather around and interact. And it's not a bad plan. They're, they're pretty bulky, they're heavy. Um, I, in fact, I used a dolly just to carry those over to the edge of the pond and get them down at the bottom of the pond where, um, where I could get them placed where I wanted them to. But uh, not the best plan, but it's a workable plan if you have some bamboo or some PVC, some construction strap. Uh, scraps around your, your place, you can put those into a five gallon bucket or a cinder block, add cement, and you can make some artificial structures for your pond. Now, this is a larger lake that we did some work on, and, and, uh, and they used a lot of large trees, large stumps, hardwood stumps, uh, hardwood root balls to put in the pond, um, along with some other materials that you'll see. Very complex structure, very large macro structure out there. And, um, and he filled the pond with it. He had a lot of construction equipment. He did a great job of putting in a lot of structure for his fishery. Um, here he had some, some um, cross ties and some telephone poles and a big root ball, piled all that up, made some complex structure, some, also some cement blocks that he put on there to weigh that down and keep it in place. And you can imagine that the, the the fish do enjoy being around this. Once it's full, this is what it looks like. Some of these root balls are sticking up through the top of the water. You can see them there, and fish are gathered in and around these. Here's a tree that they left in the pond. Um, it's just making a nice big vertical structure in there. Again, a good fishing spot. This is the same lake that we looked at earlier, and here's some of the structure sticking out of the pond, a treetop. And this is the bluegill that I caught on that, on that lake that morning. The only problem is with that kind of structure, you see that little jig that I, I used to, to, to catch the bluegill? I lost about six of those catching three bluegill uh, that morning because all that complex structure is really good at snagging your lure and also gives a place for that bluegill to run around, twist your line up and make him impossible to catch. Plants can also provide a lot of structure in a pond. They do grow and then they're going to need to be controlled. So you want to be careful as to what plants you want to introduce or allow to grow in your pond for structure, knowing that you're going to need a plan to, to manage those in the future. Docks provide a great place for fish to gather around. And if you put some smaller complex structure in and around those, you're going to have a really good fishing spot. The fish are going to be pretty much waiting there for you every time you go out to, uh, to go catch some fish. They've left a small tree here and some stumps near their dock, and I'm sure um, they're going to have a great, uh, great time fishing in and around this dock. Artificial structures provide, they're designed to provide a uh, complex structure, a lot of surface area, a lot of places for large fish and small fish to hide and interact with. And these can be put out with a, a plan. And so it makes it a very effective way to, to um, add structure to your pond. They do cost money. However, if you don't want to populate an entire lake with these type of structures, like we're doing here, you can just use those in a strategic access point on your pond. So maybe you want them just by the dock or maybe you want those just by an area that you have cleared with a shade tree where a lot of people like to go fish. And what's really cool about that, um, they're easy to, 
easy to put out. You can put them right where you want them. You can mark them. And then that uh, makes a really good area to fish. And the problem that you won't have with artificial structures, they also are designed not to catch a hook and not to be easily tangled. And so when you, you do catch a fish in these structures, they're not going, you're going to be able to catch your fish and pull them in. They're not going to snag. Um, they're not, you're not going to lose baits. And so this can be especially important for kids so that they can have success when they go out to fish. Or maybe it's older folks that go out there and they're fishing and they just want a nice experience. They don't want to be concerned with hanging up their bait. And it just can make for a much, much more pleasant experience. Um, and, and that's what we're after. We don't want frustration. We don't want to have to be the most experienced fisherman out there. We just want a good experience and structure can really help you do that as, as far as concentrating the fish. And it can also, if you use artificial structure or some, some structures that don't have a lot of snagging ability, it can make for a really nice experience for, uh, for kiddos or not so great fishermen like myself. So we don't get snagged. So Ken Rust with Louisiana Pond Management, and uh, we look forward to communicating with you in the future.